Good morning, Nissan Nation. What's up, guys? I am bringing you this video today to show you some really awesome heritage Nissan race trucks. This stuff is all uh, a lot of Spencer Lowe's trucks um, and some more. You'll you'll hear all about it later in the video. But um, I was lucky enough to hook up with a guy named Dana Degg who is basically taking old Nissan race trucks from kind of their glory days back in the 80s, 90s and um, rebuilding them um, according to how they were built back in the day when they first started getting built. Um, one of the no notable trucks that uh, I'm gonna show you today is the Frank Scoop Vessels truck. Um, it is a 91, we'll call it a 91 hard body type uh, looking truck. I mean, it's built from the ground up to be a race truck. It was built to be something that competed against Ivan Stewart. Um, Nissan spent over a million dollars trying to get this truck running and and they actually canceled the program after like one or two races. It, it didn't do great when they first built it. And there's there's a lot more to the story on this truck and I'm, I'm hopefully gonna be, be bringing you more information on it as well. But on top of that, um, I went and saw Dana and I saw the truck um, and then I realized that he has a ton of really, really cool nostalgic Nissan trucks that he is rebuilding, is bringing back to their glory. And so I wanted to bring you some of this. Um, we, there's a couple different trucks that you're gonna see in this video. And Dana talks a lot about the history of the trucks, about um, his relationship with Spencer Lowe. They were really good friends and he's kind of trying to bring Spencer Lowe's story uh, and all the trucks um, to light um, through building these trucks that are really just time pieces in my opinion. And the story isn't really told on them. So, Hopefully you guys can watch this. I took all this video before the scoop truck is what they're, we're, we're calling it. Before the scoop truck was finished, um, the scoop truck is finished. They just raced Nora and they ended up uh, blowing a hole out of the side of the block, uh, unfortunately halfway into the race, but it was ripping. I got a couple clips of, uh, of the truck ripping through Nora. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't seen the beginning or the end or whatever, I just wanted you guys to, to get a taste of, uh, of some of the stuff that I'm gonna try and be bringing to the channel as well. So uh, enjoy this uh, little interview with uh, Dana Degg, a little little chat with him over at his shop um, and a couple of the cool projects that he's got going. Uh, and I hope you like it. If you do, like, subscribe, please. I'm going to try and bring lots more of this um, to you guys. But uh, yeah, enjoy. I'm from Spencer Lowe Racing. I'm an off-road racer. Uh, that's my, my basic forte, we'll call it. I get more satisfaction out of it than I do a thrill seeker. Being successful at a race, being successful at the end of a season, winning a championship. Lowe says you drive hard and fast, but you temper it with common sense. Spencer Lowe is one of the best in off-road racing. He has driven his Class 7S Nissan Harbody to victories in a number of off-road desert races. Spencer Lowe has been racing since 1966. I don't necessarily have to win, I just like to race hard and you have to finish first in order to finish first. Here's Spencer Lowe coming into the pits. It's been a big season for Lowe. He started five times in desert races this season, won three of them, and finished second in the other two. I pre-run the course with Spencer. Kathy works at the dealership and is Spencer's fiance. Lowe has been involved in off-road racing for 25 years, and if today's younger drivers think that they have the edge on the old veteran, they better think again. I think Ivan Stewart said it best, and he said that uh, I'm maybe twice as old as the other guys, but I have to go twice as fast.
Hey guys, I'm here with Dana Dig. Dig? Dig. Dig. Um, kind of a kind of a guy that's really into Nissan, fortunately for us, uh, and off-roading. Fortunately for me, it's both the things I love. But um, Dana has a bunch of different amazing trucks. This is one of them, and I wanted to kind of give him the opportunity to, to tell you guys what it is and a little bit of um, the history on it and uh, why it's such a cool truck. Um, first off, why don't you tell us? You know what kind of truck? What's this based off of? Uh, this is based off depending on depending on the bed and which bed's on it. Right. <laughs> it's either an '81, an '82, or an '83. Right. It would were even even when Spencer uh, was still with us, he couldn't remember exactly what races he raced this because he had so many trucks. Um, if my memory is correct. We think that he only had the inline six in three different trucks. Right. This is one of the inline sixes. Um, this had a, uh, uh, the transmission that's in it is a five speed transmission, but the fifth speed is a one to one. It's not an overdrive. Right. So they were able to shorten up the gear ratios between first and second and make up and still have a top end speed, which right. is still one of the problems that we have in off-road racing. You right. Hear it, you you hear it so low to so you can get it out of the hole, but then you you're topping you out. No leg, so, yeah. Um, I got this uh, from Spencer a few years back, and unfortunately, we haven't. Uh, a, a, a real close friend of mine, Sly, and a close friend of Spencer's Sly, helped out on rebuilding the carburetors and getting it so that it'll run. It, it ran, but it just didn't want to run quite right. So we just got the carburetors back. We're gonna we're gonna make this run, and I'm not sure if we're gonna completely restore this or we're gonna leave it in its patina glory. I love the look of the truck. Yeah. I love to be able to to see how you know stuff was done from the you know single shear heim joints to mount the front core support <laughs> to you know some of the shocks are take apart, some of them aren't. Right. Um, to me, they all seem and too long for the truck. Even this kind of removable engine cage shock mount kind of a thing, it's just everything's kind of removable. Yeah, and, 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 and from way back then, the dual electric fans. Oh, yeah. You know, wow, that's, that's, that's something wild. That, that's something that, you know, electric yeah. fans weren't even around then. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, power steering cooler. Nobody ran a cooler, you know, for power steering. It had an oil cooler in the back. Um, but it had this thing, it has so many. Um, unusual things in it. Yeah. Um, for it, for it being a you know kind of an old uh, you know old style that the suspension reinforcements on the on the on the on the steering link to you know just little simple yeah. simple things that they did. It, you know it's 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 crazy and and you know the, the benders that they had. You know. It, they're, they're not the smoothest of bends. They're not. <laughs> right. You know, it's. Well, it's a cool. crazy, crazy, crazy thing. And, you know, the, the brake pedals, the the length of the brake pedals to get it so that the brakes will stop. I mean, that's that's a 16-inch yeah. arm. <laughs> For sure. That, you know, and that's a, that's a new thing now. Well, new thing 20 years, but this is a, this is a old truck. Yeah, yeah, for old sure. Truck. And so Arcadia Nissan was that was that one of the main sponsors for this, this or his family? His family owned Arcadia Nissan. Okay. And he ended up taking over Arcadia Nissan, gotcha. from what I understand. And he had a lot of other auto dealerships, gotcha. along with the Arcadia Nissan. Um, and he raced everything for Spencer. Raced anything with Nissan, he raced it. He right. raced boats. <laughs> Outboard boats. He yeah. raced. Wild. He did. He did a lot with um, charities for schools. Right. He and his he and his wife Kathy used to take his the red, white, and blue Nissan, his seven S truck, to all the schools around mm -hmm. and and try to get try to get the younger generation involved with off road racing. Right. And off of drugs and out of drugs and 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 be you know live off adrenaline. Cool. Very cool. And uh, it's there, there's uh, there's lots of great stories with with Spencer that I was hoping to be able to to share. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe another sure. time. Yeah. Yeah. We can uh, sure. we can talk about Spencer and all, all of uh, all of what he did for a long time. 
Um, but this is cool. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting once you kind of get it back to, to running and uh, and you know it's definitely gonna be a, an amazing piece to to check out once you kind of put your little uh, little bit of work into it. Yeah. Um, you do have quite a few amazing projects. Um, real quick, you want to kind of go over some of the other trucks. Um, I did already go and uh, and get a bunch of video and talk a little bit about um, the. I mean, what are we calling that truck? Sure. Scoop. It's for Frank Scoop Vessels. Okay. Uh, Team Ag originally built it. It's on its 30 year anniversary. We're planning on racing it at Nora. Okay. Um, we were planning on having uh, cash vessels, Scoop Sun, race with us, but with the COVID and, and uh, the issues with that, we're a little bit worried. If Nora runs, we're running the truck. Nice. Um, it, it might be without cash. Yeah. Um, but um, I. Uh, told Spencer before he passed that we were racing that truck on the 30th anniversary nice. and I try to hold up my word on everything yeah. that I do. Yeah. Cool. Um, we also in, in our in the Palapa Boy stables we also have um, one of uh, we call it Sherman Sherman Bolsch's truck and um, uh, Peter Alacy um, or one of the Alacy family members raced it too. I have that over at a friend shop. Nice. Uh, and we also have a, a Nissan mini stock that my daughter uh, raced in the Lucas Oil Regional Series. Right on. Uh, yeah. She did She did pretty good. Sweet. Pretty good in that. Yeah. yeah I so think we it's have, and, and we have a couple of Toyotas that we're hoping to show out there too. Yeah. So we got, we got lots of things that I'm glad that there's more people that are, that are into this. Yeah. I think, I think the, uh, I think kind of words getting out a little bit. Um, it's. I mean, hopefully, I'm doing the best that I can. <laughs> you know, spreading the spreading the Nissan love about uh, and and this is what I wanted to do is bring back some of this um, less documented uh, history of some of these old Nissan trucks that were. I mean, these things were huge in the off road. I mean, it was Ford, Toyota, and Nissan were were running the the seven trucks. Um, and this is uh you know this is exactly what they were running back in the day. So. Cool. I appreciate I appreciate you chatting. Um, maybe I'll get a little bit more film on everything. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.